I'm David Maldo, and welcome to the Let's Do Video podcast. Today, I want to take a quick look at the new life-size cloud Amplify solution. Recording is one of the most uh, often requested features when I'm talking to end users for video, so I was uh, interested in taking a look at LifeSize's implementation of it. I'm actually recording this on LifeSize Amplify. To do it, I just started a meeting with myself in LifeSize Cloud, created a virtual meeting room, joined it, and at the UI, there was a new button at the bottom that looked like a circular recording button, and I clicked it. That's it. Uh, when I'm done with the meeting, I will just click the same button again, and it will end the recording. I want to uh, share a screen with you now just to briefly show you the portal that goes along with this. So this is when I log into my LifeSize cloud, uh, Life Size cloud account online. This is what I see when I click on videos. Basically, it looks like a, a YouTube portal, which I like. I'm familiar with that. And looking at my video feed, they actually pre-populated it with um, a, a list of training videos, feature explanation videos, some nice stuff to help me get started. And there's one video here that I recorded myself a few minutes ago testing. With that video, I can bring it up and play it. Again, same familiar YouTube-like interface, which I like. Change the volume, full size it. I can like it. I can delete it. Uh, I can add it to a favorite list, a watch list. Um, I can change the properties if I want to change, change the name, give it a description. And I can share it either with uh, other people who would be in my account. This would put it in their video feed and their life as account or with externals. And I can download it, which I'm actually going to do with this video so then I can do some post editing and put it up on my own YouTube channel. Just one more quick thought. When Michael Helmbrecht, the chief product officer at LifeSize, was briefing me on this, he told me uh, an interesting story, an interesting use case that I was really excited by. We all like the idea of recording our meetings. We all like the idea of someone who, who isn't there being able to get caught up afterwards. But he told me about a use case in particular that I just thought was, was very powerful. LifeSize is an Agile Scrum shop. They have an Agile Scrum development methodology. I won't go into it too much here. If, if you haven't heard about it, Google it. It's pretty interesting. But it's a, it's a way to manage your development teams, uh, a way to keep them on track and give them all the support they need if they get stuck. Without getting too deep into it, there's a daily meeting where each developer will very quickly say what he did in the last 24 hours, what he's planning to do in the next 24 hours, and if he needs any help if he's stuck. And everyone, it's a basic status meeting. So what Michael said is they've been recording all of their Scrum meetings. So if he's out of town for a week, instead of what would usually happen would be the next day's meeting would be all about getting Michael caught up again. But instead of that, when he gets home from being out of town that night while he's checking his email, doing the normal catch-up stuff, he just plays the scrums that he missed, plays the recordings of them, watches them, and then he's caught up as if he, as if he never left. So I thought that was a powerful example and just a great story that shows how the new flexibility of video and of video solutions is allowing us to use it in new ways beyond the old meeting room video conferencing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments. If you want to try it out, LifeSize is offering a free trial. Just go to their website at lifesize.com. And if you'd like to see more of this, please, please check out our newsletter at letsdovideo.com newsletter. Thanks.